Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Teresa aka 50 plus 2013. I'm just at home, I wasn't doing anything but chilling. So I decided to put this wig on and brush my teeth and said, let me just do a video about small spaces and how to, just some hacks of saving space and utilizing space. But in this video, if you like me to do a, an apartment tour, thumbs up the video and leave that comment inside the description below and then I will get on it. In the meantime, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notification. I do film twice a week. My apartment, I've been here um, over a year, like a year and some months. And um, I just took my time in putting it together, decorating, even unpacking it. I mean, I wasn't fully unpacked. I don't think I'm fully unpacked to this day. But I have found ways to just kind of make this apartment work in the small square footage. And also, it's an older building. So sometimes you have older buildings and you're not quite accommodated when it comes to sockets and outlets. And I'll show you how I handled that situation also. So if you'd like to see how to make a small space work for you, keep watching. So we're gonna start right at the fridge because at this point, there is nothing particular that I did here. I, um, I think that I have enough cabinet space. The top of the cabinet, if you have space like that, you can use it for storage of stuff that you don't use or like your annual Christmas place settings or something like that. But the refrigerator itself, the top of it, I use it for like um, to tie in the decoration, the colors, this color scheme that I have going on. And of course I have some knickknacks up there at this point that I don't quite know what to do other than um, other than those glass jars up there that I have pencils and markers in for my dry erase and just a pen and pencil section. So nothing really up there other than some extra storage on top of the fridge. I like to have a, uh, I like to kind of keep it all cleared out and clean too because it's small so it easily feels cluttered. So I don't have really anything on the refrigerator except this dry erase board right there and then a quote saying, live your life and forget your age. And I like that quote because I'm a woman of a certain age and I really don't feel my age, but I feel compelled to act it, if you know what I mean. So on to the stove. So I have my refrigerator right flush up against the stove and there's virtually no space in between it. So on the side of the fridge, I use magnets to hold up my pot holders and I put a little bit of decoration there as well. I really don't need the decor it's just stuff people gave me and I didn't know what to do with it and I like I said I'm trying to keep the clutter down to a minimum but one of my hacks is to go ahead and use the back of your stove if you have any type of ledge or leverage you can use it for excess storage and if you just want to make the whole area look nice and cute and up to date especially in an old building I just got this contact paper, whatever this paper is, from the Dollar Tree. And I got two rolls of it just for a backup, but I ended up already using the other for another project around here. But it like a nice gray black backsplash of a brick wall. And then I got these two glass containers from um, Dollar, Dollar General, yeah. And that's where I just like to put the coffee in. And so this is just like a place where I can store stuff that I use on a regular basis and I just have it easy accessible. Sometimes I have other things up here, but I like to still try to declutter this area. And I like to keep my stove top pretty cleared off as well, but I will always seem to keep a measuring glass on the stove and it's a glass one, not a plastic one. And because um, I don't have a lot of counter space, but, I really need to have these things on hand, these utensils on hand when I'm cooking. So this is just a white plant pot that I got from um, Walmart for pennies on a dollar. I'm kidding. A few dollars and I put the cooking utensils on there. Right next to that I have my teapot and that's what I got for a Christmas present. And um, I just like it out and it's not really taking up too much space so I'm good with that. And then there's my Keurig next to that. But how I'm saving some space or whatever are able to use this space. 
and have more um, places to plug in this kitchen I only have two outlets right there and that one is mainly for the stove and the refrigerator maybe there's one behind there for the fridge too okay so this one there's maybe an outlet back there but of course I can't I can't get to that one so these two are the only two that I have so I normally keep plug-ins in those for um, fragrance but this one here, if I have the stove in it, I only have one other socket left. And I have this going on sometimes, and I have my Keurig to plug in. And then I have a nightlight. So what I did was got one of these type of, what do you call it, outlet things. And it has multiple plugs, and you can swivel them around. So if you want to really turn it that way, if you want just to kind of slim it down. So if you have... Um, that behind some furniture you can have access to the sockets on each side so that is very useful for me because of not enough sockets another thing you can do is have mirrors and mirrors would just make the place sorry it's not focusing hold on I have mirrors over the sink and um, it's just two mirrors from the Dollar Tree and um, the mirrors here um, I just put them up on the wall with a push pin. So these two mirrors help make it this, the space feel a little bigger also, especially when it reflects the light coming in from the front window. Then the next thing I have that I added was this little shelf right here. This shelf right here. And this shelf is just a random shelf you can get from probably Dollar Tree. I think I got it from Walmart. But um, you have storage space underneath and you have also on the top so basically I put this little teeny little rice cooker that is very small and um, compact but if you have a small space then it's good to have small appliances so I have that little crock pot that I got from Amazon which reminds me because this counter is so small I also have a uh, a magic bullet instead of a big old blender to crush down things so that you know I continue to have the prop the the counter space that I need and not taken up by a bunch of electronic appliances so there you have that and then I got this um, dish rack thing from Ikea and nobody wanted me to get it but I knew I needed it and basically it's small enough where where I leave first of all the the sponge for washing dishes and this thing for washing dishes I leave that hooked in there but there's just a nail on the wall a nail on the wall there and I just hooked it on because it has holes in it and this is how I use it when you're washing up some dishes you can go ahead and set that in your sink it doesn't take up no space and you can turn it both ways and um, wash your dishes and drain them in here and then just hook it back up on the wall and your kitchen your sink still looks all cleaned out and nice and neat and then you have all of this stuff out of the way and then the other thing for a small space is um, I have a what do you call this uh, like a cart a utility cart and I use this utility card for the microwave and in this apartment because I don't have much socket space this is what I have to do in order to use the um, microwave so my microwave here and I just decorated with um, a cake thing and then the cutting boards underneath here so the cutting board has a home and then this is just like for decorations but this is where the microwave lives because there's no counter space for a microwave and this is how I have to plug up the microwave I have an extension cord I don't think I hauled it or anything but I think it's fantastic and I just got this heavy-duty extension cord and what I do with it is It's very long and it's really nice and um, so I just basically bring it over cord from the back of the microwave all the way down and I just plug it in and then I'm able to use the microwave as you can see it's on now whereas it was off and then I just fold it back up and put it away um, 
you know, once I'm done marker. Okay. So I'm the type of person that I really like to clean up after myself. I like to wake up to a clean apartment. So no matter how messy this place get, it feels good to wake up and everything's put away. All the dishes are washed and stuff like that. So I try to make that a habit. In fact, that's just how I am. I know you all seen me clean my bedroom because it's clean with me and it looked tore up, but there was a reason for that. So anyways, I think that is it. So I will just let you go now. And um, these are basically just apartment hacks that I feel would help you if you trying to figure out the socket situation or even how to gain more spaces. So like I said, if you want an apartment tour, sorry, if you want an apartment tour, I don't know why everybody fool with their hair when they're on video. Anyways, if you want an apartment tour, um, thumbs up and let me know. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video and my daughter gets on my case because I don't share some of these little hacks and things. I just sometimes, I don't even think they're a hack. I just think I'm just doing what I need to do to make this place comfortable for me. But she's always like, Mom, do a video on this, that, and the other. So that's why I'm doing this video in honor of my daughter, Brittany. And I'll see you on my next one.